bending moment at C. Okay, you have to know ILD for uh, bending moment. So, if this is the ILD for bending moment at C, and you are provided with a UDL of shorter span or uh, shorter length than the span, when will or uh, at which position will maximum bending moment occur? That is the question here. So, for maximum bending or for maximum moment load, positions should be such that the section divides the load in the same ratio in both span okay so this suggests us that 4 meter uh, the span of the udl is 5 meter so it should be in the same ratio on both side so this being 2.5 and this being 2.5 as a whole 5 meter span of the udl so now we can calculate the area this y naught y1 and y2 uh, y naught is equal to y naught is equal to a b by l where a is 12 sorry uh, a is 6 and this being 9 so 6 into 9 divided by 15 this is 3.6 and y1 using the similar triangular property y1 0. Point, uh, sorry 3.6 divided by span that is 6 multiply by this span 2.5 6 minus 2.5 okay 6 minus 2.5 multiply by 3.6 divided by 6 i get 2.1 so uh, 6 minus 2.5 3.5 okay here y2 3.6 divided by 9 multiply by this distance 9 minus 2.5 6.5 okay into 3.6 divided by 9 we get 2.6 okay we have now calculated all the perpendicular distance now again applying the uh, trapezoidal area we can calculate the maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment at C is equal to the loading intensity is same that is 40 multiply by this area so y naught plus y1 that is y naught is equal to 3.6 plus y1 2.1 divided by 2 multiply by this distance which is uh, 2.5 okay plus taking 40 as common for both trapezoid as uh, it is similar or the loading is same that is 40 kN so 3.6 y not plus y2 2.6 divided by 2 multiply by the distance 2.5 okay uh, we can calculate 3.6 plus 2.1 divided by 2 into 2.5 so 40 multiply by 7.125 plus 3.6 plus 2.6 divided by 2 into 2.5 this comes as 7.75 so let me check again 3.6 plus 2.6 divided by 2 into 2.5 and 3.6 plus 3.2.1 divided by 2 plus multiply by 2.5 7.125 multiply uh, this uh, 7.5 into 40 595 kilonewton meter which is correct okay so in this way you can calculate the maximum bending moment okay